Hi guys, this is Sylvia from Tabitha's Treasures. Well, I'm going to give it another shot. I made two videos already with lots of show and tell. I wonder if the videos were maybe too long and it wouldn't read it, you know, so I have no idea. I had so much to show and to tell and I guess I have to sh keep it short and sweet and just show my projects and see and go from there. So I got a lot done. It's been a a little while since I posted something. So I want to start with a few projects I I got done already. I uh, I showed that cow last time, but I added a flower to it. And all the flowers I show, they're all from Tabitha's uh, Tabitha's Treasures. Teresa Patton. She has her own YouTube channel. It's called Teresa Patton. She sent us one hundred flowers. And it's time to start using them now. And uh, then I got that cowl here. It's uh, out of Karen Simply Soft. I doubled the yarn. It's uh, the dark. It's a dark sage and country blue. And then I made uh, like a shell border. And it's light sage and baby blue. And I just uh, laced it, you know, like shoelaces, and put it in the bow up here. Actually, I was thinking, you know, somebody could even wear it as a top in the summertime, but we let's just keep it as a cowl. And uh, here's Yogi, of course. He's not supposed to be here. I thought I had more cowls than that. Oh, I do. Ay, ay, ay. Really? And I got another one here made out of scrap yarn, and it's like gray and black. And I added some purple flowers to it. I got that and I got some ear warmers all from scrap yarn and I went to Walmart and bought some nice buttons like flowers and I like those a lot better. I've been looking for buttons everywhere and uh, I'm missing, oh here, dang, I got my stuff all over the place. Here's another small ear warmer with a little purple flower and uh and the one here got like a little fairy right here and the little black flower that's so adorable my other video i made earlier today of my husband's respite uh, uh, nikki she's one of our subscribers too she gave me three mannequins and uh, i used those to show all the hats and the ear warmers but of course i'm afraid right now that my video is going to be going to be too long so all that is so far is made out of scrap yarn, mostly Karen Simply Soft. And uh, then I got that one here. And uh, mainly the stitches are like double crochet, half double crochet. What was that? Oh, spooky. And then got some hats here. And I use these little flowers, the buttons I bought. It's like a little slouchy hat. It looks so adorable on the mannequins. I absolutely love it. Got that one here, scrap yarn. That one here is Bernat Pop. Regular double crochet. And the uh, Bernat Pop um, Ebony and Ivory. I got it now. And then I got that one here. And that one is like alternating single crochet and half double crochet and then down here single crochet again and then i did like the shell border so i got that and then i made a, a bitty bitty baby blanket i ran out of yarn little granny square it's some burnett baby yarn but i have absolutely no idea with the colorway so i ran out but it's uh you know for nikyu and uh, so I got that and uh, Dana told me and uh, Teresa Patton she made us 12 loveys and Dana told me that Charlie's love is in need of loveys and Teresa Patton offered to make us some more Dana needs to uh, find out the reg what the reg regulations are the sizes and all that but I made a couple that is scrap yarn all kinds of different yarn I made that one 
And the other two are Scrap Yarn Karen Simply Soft that is light and dark sage. It's a little bit bigger. I've been going to Texas thrift store lately buying um, stuffed animals because some of the lovies will go to the nursing home too, to Normandy Terrace. So far I've bought like 37 stuffed animals. I have a big bag full. And then I got that one here too. Some of the lovies trees are pattern made. They're pretty good size. So I most definitely will take those to the nursing home because older people, I know my bestie's mom, she will be a whopping 103 this month and she loves her stuffed animals. But I've been making her blankets and stuff like that years ago and shawls and all that. She ends up giving everything away. So even my bestie went like, babe, don't buy anything for mother because she's going to give everything away. I said, I know that. And here's another beanie I made. Karen Simply Soft. Just regular double crochet and the border single crochet. And here's another hat. And I believe uh, I have some scarves with the same yarn. Can put it in a set. Dana and I, last time she was over here, we went on a mission. We put all our sets together with scarves, hats, and um, ear warmers. Put a ribbon around it. And that's going to go to the church. As far as I uh, know, I think everybody is allowed to have two or three pieces that can pick. So we have some sets together. And I have a, a couple more. They're already washed. I'm going to put them together and... and uh, put them together and uh, put them with the other sets and so far I believe we put together 22 sets already some of them are two or three pieces the one here that beanie it's a regular actually a regular double crochet and I didn't add anything to it because it can be for man too and I made a scarf that's a the yarn is a, a red heart, red heart um, colorway is macaw, I believe. And then I made a scarf to that one, made a scarf to that one, and that is the sedge stitch. So I did all that, and uh, then I made a bag here. I absolutely love it, and of course I can remember from my life what kind of colorway that is and uh, I made a little bag and uh, crocheted the string and added on the bottom and each end of the strings different color pink and purple shades of little dragonflies so I got that and then up here I pulled the string through I got two butterflies two butterflies and two different shades of hearts, light shades, and they're a little bit darker. And the bottom, I did regular single crochet, regular single crochet, so it's all tight, and I crochet on top of the stitch to make it, to support a little bit more. So, I got that. Now I got some shawls and lapkins. That shawl here is Bernard Pop. Color, colorway is a uh, violet, vibrant violet, and I did my, I call it Sylvia created a stitch. It's the chain three and the single crochet, and then chain three, and I just went on and on and on. So that's a nice little shawl. Oops, my arm, my arm. So I made that one, all ready to go, and that will be for the nursing home. And there is another one. A little lap gun. I did uh, that's the lime brand ice cream yarn tutti frutti and that's a stitch I dreamed up and that's of course one row is my chain three and a single crochet chain three and then the next row in each uh, chain three I did four double crochet so I got that and I actually like it. I even, 
I even made a scarf, which I think I already showed in a couple of videos before. Oh boy, I just hope that I can post that video. I'm going to be very, very frustrated. That here's the shawl. It's, I think it's like six feet wide, long, and 25 inches wide. It's uh, three skeins of um, Lime Brand Scarfy yarn, and the colorway is cranberry black. I absolutely love it. And I did the sedge stitch with that one. And the border, I did a... Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And the border, I did a, a shell stitch. And then the next stitch, I just did a slip stitch. And I used the K-hook for that. And that's three skeins. I only got a little ball like that left of the yarn. Three full skeins. It took me, I don't know, three, maybe four days. To do that so it's not too bad and that one here it took me forever because i took breaks and did all kinds of other stuff in between and uh, that is the bernat pop as well it's a shawl and uh bernat pop uh violet violet vibrant violet and uh, I did the cobblestone stitch I love the cobblestone stitch but it is so time consuming so, and I think these are like two skeins of the Burnett Pop. And I did use a K-hook, I believe. So I got that. Sorry, people, I'm rushing like that because, I mean, I'm so frustrated. I had so much to show and to tell and things I bought and things I did and stupid thing wouldn't take it, you know. And, uh, and that here, I'm making a, a lap gun. I'm using the Mandala Ombre, and the colorway is Balance. And I'm using I'm using a eye hook, using eye hook, and I do the half double crochet V stitch. I absolutely love it. Look, at, I'm on the second skein right now. And see how that looks I absolutely love it oops the light from my lamp looks like little stars and I like it, the, the edging the way I do it I don't have to play do a border there it is I don't have to do a border look at the look at the edging so I don't have to play with that haha <laughs> I love it okay sorry peeps and now I had to um, I had to actually I uh, Bought a bunch of stuffed animals. So far, I think I have 37 of them. And uh, for the lovies, for the nursing homes, Teresa Patton mailed out uh, a late birthday box for me. I should have it by Tuesday. I'm so excited. And Robin Girard, she's one of our subscribers, but she doesn't have a YouTube channel. She me uh, messaged me last week and told me that She's going to send a box to my house for tap desk treasures, donations, bunch of lap gans and blankets and socks, walker totes and whatnot, what she did. And after that, I uh, I get with Dana and once I get that box, then I'll probably be ready to do our donations to Normandy Terrace. I'm so excited. And uh, I believe uh, we're going to start um, donating to the church to all the way into February so I got all that and there's one thing I have to say um, I'm still a little bit upset about that somebody did me very wrong and jumped down my throat for no reason and uh, I took that very personal I mean if I do something for Tabitha's treasures uh, I do a lot of things I mean a lot of things not just tapitas treasures i mean in my life in general i love to help and all that and then people telling me you know saying that uh, uh i just do that to look good that's not the point that's not the case i i love to crochet i'm getting better i know that and i'm very creative i do it with a smile on my face I buy a lot of things, I buy like yarn, buttons, and whatever I can find, and I love to help people. 
I was raised like that, and I think I'm going to die like that. And uh, saying, you know, for me to look good, that is not right. That really, really hurt me. It is, you know, Tabitha's treasures. I always mention Dana. I always mention Joe if there's something, but Joe will take our donations to the church. He makes lap guns, he makes blankets and all that. But it's mainly Dana and me. Mostly to talk about because we do the most work. And I'm sorry, but I had to let that, I mean, it, it's still it's still messing with me. So other than that, Dana had surgery again last Monday, I believe. I'm not talking a whole lot to her right now because I know she's in a lot of pain and she's on a lot of medic medication, so I don't want to bother her if she sleeps or whatsoever. But I will talk to her about when uh, we're going to stay local with NICU, but send uh, lovies to Charlie's love. And uh, Normandy Terrace, that's already all set, and hopefully this month, I'll be able to go over there and drop off our donations and then we start all over again. Alrighty, peeps. Well, oh yeah, and thank you all for my my birthday wishes. You know, it made my day. It was so sweet of all of you. I love all you guys and thank you all for subscribing to our channel and be so faithful and so caring and so loving and all the good stuff. All right, peeps. Well, I guess that's it for today. And I just hope I can upload that video today. I love you all. Have a blessed evening. Later, guys.